I am, Pe I am Simon Peter. I will be reading The Birth of Jesus Foretold. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disarmed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will be conceived and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you've delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm a storm with his hands? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? And when you kiss your little baby, you've kissed the face of God. Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know the blind will see, the deaf will hear, and the dead will live again? The lame will leap, the dumb will speak. Did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect lamb? The sleeping child you're holding is a great I am. Mary, did you know? Hi, Mary. How are you doing? Why are you worried? Well, if you had my problems, you'd be a bit upset. Want to talk about it? It sometimes helps. Well, how would you feel if, you get, if you're getting married next week and you haven't even kissed a boy and then you discovered... That you're having a baby? Oh, no! How did you know? I don't even know you! Well, it's like this. Do you remember the stories about the Messiah? No. Oh, no. Don't faint. I'm okay, really. That's better. God has chosen you. He sent me to tell you that the baby you're having is actually the son of the Most High God. Oh, no. <laughs> Has anybody got some smelling salts? Hi. 
I'm Andrew. The birth of Jesus the Messiah. This is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly. So he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her is considered by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. The carpenter's hammer goes bang, 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 and a saw goes saw, saw, saw. He hammers and he he plans and he measures and he hammers and he saws while he builds a house for me. I did the last one, and that was the most difficult. No, you've had a bit of practice. You'll do better than me. <laughs> You're not getting away with that. Go on. <coughs> Sorry. You could have knocked, you know. Who are you anyway? Have you got my delivery? I ordered some wood last week. I, uh... Go on, spit it out. I'm a busy man, you know. I'm getting married next week and I haven't even built this table. I'm sure Mary will be very happy. How do you know about Mary? Uh, actually, that's why I'm here. I got a message. From Mary? Not exactly. Well, who then? Well, actually God. What? You see, Mary has been chosen to have a very important baby boy. This baby will save his people from all their sins. Okay. Ask Mary. She's been told who he is, and I've been told to tell you what his job is. Hi, I'm Jane. The birth of John the Baptist for John. When Herod was king of Judea, there was a, there was a Jewish priest named Zechariah. He was a member of the priestly order of Abijah, and his wife, Elizabeth, was also from the priestly line of Aaron. Zachariah and Elizabeth were righteous in God's eyes, careful to obey all of the Lord's commandments and regulations. They had no children because Elizabeth was unable to conceive, and they were both very old. While Zachariah was in the sanctuary, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing in the right of the incense altar. Zachariah was shaken and overwhelmed with fear when he saw him. But the angel said, Don't be afraid, Zachariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son, and you are to name him John. He will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He will prepare the people for the coming of the Lord. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth. He will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and he will cause those who are rebellious to accept the wisdom of the godly. Did you tell her husband, what's the name, Zacharias? Yeah, but he didn't believe me. I had to take a drastic action. What did you do? I struck him dumb. You didn't, did you? Shh, here they come. This should be interesting. I can't believe you having a baby at your age too. I could say the same about you. Well, I've got news. You might find it a bit difficult to believe, but this messenger from God turned up one day and said that I was going to have a baby and he was going to be the son of the Most High God. Wow, that's exactly what happened to my husband, Joseph. 
You know he works at the temple in Jerusalem. Well, one day he was sacrificing in the temple when this chap comes along and says he's a messenger from God. Wow. Yes, and he said that I was going to have a son and I was to call him John. And his job was to prepare the way of the Lord. That's absolutely amazing. Well, I thought that went rather well. Hello, I am John, and I will be reading the birth of Jesus. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire, all returned to their own ancestral towns to register for the census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged. bit bad being here. Look, they're outside the inn. I don't think they should go in there. You're right. It's not safe. Full of travelers. No privacy. They'll have to sleep on the floor. Well, it's just a wall, really, to keep the animals out. Look, they're turning away. Good. They would have never got any sleep in there. She's going to have the baby any minute now. I bet I bet arrange something better. Excuse me, I think I might be able to help you. I'm desperate. My wife's just about to have a baby. I have a really nice barn in the yard over there. It's really warm and comfortable. I have lots of clean straw. The animals usually sleep there. That'll be perfect. Thank you. Mary? Reading the shepherds and angels. That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flock of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angels reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that, br that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born to you today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you'll recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heaven.
Looks like we've got to deal with this lot next. What have they got to do with this? They've come down to see the baby in Bethlehem. Come on, we're on. Now mind you don't scare them. Boss wouldn't want his chosen people scared out of their wits. Hi, Hi guys. guys. We've come, come with a message. message. A baby, baby has been born in Bethlehem, and he, he is the Messiah, Messiah, and you've so got, got to come to and see him. him. I guess it must be true. Look at the lights in the sky! And this music. It must be true. Of course, it's of course true. it's true. Do you really think God would send us with a message that wasn't true? Well, come on then. Bethlehem it is. Thanks, mate. Hello, I'm Thomas. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherds' stories were astonished, but Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. Do you suppose they've got lost? We've been waiting for ages. Well, we took the transporter. Look, here they come. Have you come to see the baby? His name's Jesus, you know. He's beautiful, a perfect lamb for your baby. The world waits for a miracle The heart longs for a little bit of hope Oh come, oh come Emmanuel A child prays for peace on earth And she's calling out from sea of hurt Oh come, oh come Emmanuel And can you hear The angels singing Glory to the light of the world Glory to the light Where the tears of a mother The baby's cry is the sound of love Come down, come down, Emmanuel Oh, he is a song for the suffering He is Messiah, the Prince of Peace has come He has come to 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoy that as much as we did. Did you kids enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you've delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know 